Hey everybody! Wow! That is one fat cat! Now imagine we're going to take a flight, we're going to put that fat cat in the crate in the baggage compartment stationed at 150 inches. You're saying to yourself, no way, I don't want my cat in its crate in the cargo compartment. I want to move that cat to the back seat. Hey, what do we need? Folks, we need the weight and balance weight shift formula. Welcome to the Epic Flight Academy. My name is Mike Thompson. This is the Private Pilot Ground School and today we're going to talk about this weight shift formula. Now, to be successful, remember there's three parts. You are going to study weight and balance in Epic's online Private Pilot course. And secondly, then if you watch these videos with yours truly, Mike Thompson, this will parallel the content in that course. And thirdly, and very important, you are going to want to review all of this content one-on-one -on -one with your flight instructor. So let's get back to our fat cat. We don't want him in the cargo compartment. Nah, he would not be happy there. He's going to the back seat. Well, this cargo compartment is at 150 inch arm from the datum. And the back seat is at a 30 inch arm from the datum. Now, that's definitely going to affect my weight and balance. How do I make that calculation? Well, you need this weight shift formula. Notice this formula has four simple parts. To make the formula work, I'm going to get three out of four and do some very simple math. Now, what are those four parts? Take a look at the formula. The weight to be shifted is over the top of the total weight of the airplane. Now, that's not the total gross weight necessarily. It's the total weight for this flight. Okay, that is equal to... And you see this little triangle CG? That means delta CG. That means the change in the center of gravity. That little triangle is the Greek letter D as in delta. And that means change when we're doing mathematics. So this means the change in the CG over the distance that the weight is to be shifted. Now, let's use our fat cat example and see if we can plug in three knowns into this formula. Let's start with the fact that our current CG is at station 81.5 and the aft CG limit for the airplane is 80.5. Uh-oh. I cannot fly this airplane with the CG aft of its aft limit. So not only do I want my fat cat in the back seat, but I've got to get that CG forward anyway. Now how far forward do I need to move that CG? If you said one inch, you're correct. It's currently at 81.5 and I need it at least 80.5 or smaller. So I need to move it at least one inch. So let's go back to our formula and see if we can start to plug in some numbers. All right, on the left side of the formula, on the bottom it says total weight of the airplane. Let's imagine for this flight the total weight of the airplane is 7,800 pounds. Move to the right side of the formula. How far do I need to change it? In other words, delta CG. What's the minimum change in CG? You got it, one inch. And the distance that weight's going to be shifted when I move my cat from the 150 inch baggage compartment to the 30 inch back seat. You got it. That weight shift is 120 inches. Now, 
Let's get out a calculator. We'll do some very simple cross multiply and divide. I'll give you a second to do those calculations. Three, two, one. Three minutes later, you come back and you say, hey, I came up with 65 pounds. That's the, the uh, weight to be shifted. You need to move 65 pounds, 120 inches, to get the CG back within the CG range. Well, guess what? My fat cat weighs at least 65 pounds. In fact, he weighs a little bit more than that. So, is that going to meet the requirements of moving our CG within range? Absolutely. Thumbs up. We're ready for this flight. Well, folks, that is the weight shift formula. Come back and join us next time. Yeah, we're going to need to get you a treadmill.